Meet Beepop and BB, a mother-daughter duo who make cosplay videos that often involve lip-syncing, hands dancing, and popular songs. At first, nothing seems off, it's just a mother and daughter having fun and making cute videos together. But then you take a look at their comments and they are flooded with comments such as, we're red in the next video if you need help, we're green in the next video if you need help, we're blue in the next video if you need help, we're purple in the next video if you're in danger, we're yellow if you're in danger. I mean, at this point, unless Beepop and BB just don't wear clothes and post literal corn on the cob, if you know what I mean, I guess they're kidnapped. And speaking of BB and corn on the cob, I found a theory on who people think BB was in the past and it will absolutely shock you. So this is my second time talking about these tiktokers i previously made a video in august of last year where i explained who they are debunked the whole color commenting thing and debunked some other things such as having a lock on a door and yeah people really think that having a lock on a door that leads outside is evidence that you're kidnapped so in that video i made i looked at two theories on who people think bebop could possibly be the first one being aranza lopez and the other being ava baldwin and since then there's been an update on aranza who was thankfully found safe in mexico in february of this year after being kidnapped back in 2018 so for this video that you're watching today is going to follow the same structure. We're going to start off by reacting to and debunking some wannabe Sherlock Holmes and then we're going to transition into two theories on who people think BB could actually be. The first one being an ex-convict who was arrested for a series of crimes and the second one as I said will absolutely shock you. So without further ado let's take a look at what some wannabe Sherlock Holmes have to say. Proof the Bob and Bib need help. What am I looking at? Nostrils? So let me get this straight. Because Beepop has not only one, but two nostrils, it means she's kidnapped? Or oh, just wait until you find out about that guy on TikTok who has gigantic nostrils that literally look like a spaceship landed in that thing. I mean, considering the size of them nostrils, he must have been kidnapped by the ultimate boss. Okay, so taking a look at the top comment, it appears Beepop has a nosebleed. Wait, I understand. She is nosebleed. Yes, Beepop is nosebleed. You know the little red stuff that drips out of your nose after you pick at it or in hot and dry summer? Well, it turns out those things are actually little Beepops. Okay, but on a real note, people are claiming that they see blood on Beepop's nose. Seriously though, where? Last time I checked, a nosebleed runs down your nose, not up. I think what they in the comments are talking about is that Beepop's left nostril looks slightly different than the one on her right. The comments believe that Beepop was punched in the face by the man who forces them to make videos and has a nosebleed because of it. Yeah, it makes total sense that although she got punched in the face, she doesn't have a swollen nose or eyes. Taking a look at some of their other videos, it's just the way Bebop's nose is shaped. Her left nostril ends a little lower than the one on her right. It's as simple as that. Taking a look at the comments, people are really reaching. Someone who thinks Bebop is a little boy said in his eyeballs, there is also someone who is holding a piece of wood or other sharp object and it looks like he's being forced if he doesn't want to. I said bitch where? Bitch where? There definitely is something reflecting in her eyes. The phone and the tripod that it's standing on. That's like saying something's reflecting in my eyes. Yeah, what, what do you think? Look, ring light and camera. Some of y'all have some really strange imaginations. I just know that a psychotherapist would have a field day psychoanalyzing y'all. So the next video that I want to take a look at comes from YouTube Shorts and it's called Beep Up and BB Need Help. And for those who watch my video on Inca Star Mimic Clip, you would know that I'm actually happy to see a normal sounding title. Beep Up and BB. Beep Up and BB been kidnapped. This is a proof. A speaker on the room. A tears and comments and they wear it a lock on their door handcuff BB's brother looks us that's it I see guys plus help theme okay so there's a few things we need to talk about here first of all I've seen so many people talking about this speaker that they see in the top corner of the room from what I understand people think that the kidnapper uses this speaker so they can hear what beep up and BB are saying within the room <sighs> I can't believe I even need to explain this but here I go y'all know what a speaker is right like the little sometimes big rectangular or even square thing that has little dots on it they are what you call an output device they connect with another system and play the audio coming from there often music now this is not the same as a microphone. A microphone is an input device which takes in sound and needs an output device in order to play that audio. So basically what I'm trying to say is that a speaker can't record audio. It only plays audio. Now for the second thing which I addressed in my first video. How are you going to be locked in the room when the lock is on the inside? Oh, hold on. Let me, let me, let me show you guys something. And 
And for the third thing, BB's brother looks sus. I mean, that's just flat out rude. Okay, so now I want to transition into the second half of this video, of which the title is based on. Beepop and BB are not who you think they are. As we discussed in this video and the one prior, many people think that Beepop and BB are in danger by some kidnapper. In some videos, you can see this man, and people think that he could be the kidnapper and forcing him to make videos. Someone, please, please explain to me why on earth would a kidnapper put themselves on camera? How does that make any sense? Y'all are really making Harry and Lloyd and Harry and Marv look like absolute geniuses. In this video and the one prior, I've attempted to debunk the whole kidnap conspiracy theory, and that's not to say that Beepop isn't in danger, because she is in danger, but it's not from some invisible man. In my previous video, I talked about two theories of Beepop being either one of two missing children, Aranza Lopez and Ava Baldwin. But for this video, we're gonna be taking a look at two theories on who BB could possibly be. The first one I'm honestly pretty convinced is her, and the second one I'm iffy about, but if it is in fact her, it changes everything about Beepop and BB. Okay, so before we begin, I just want to note that everything I'm about to discuss has already been made available online publicly through social media accounts and public court records. The people or person I'm about to discuss is not 100% BB, but some people on the internet and myself are fairly convinced it's her. If it is in fact her, this is going to change everything about Beepop and BB, but honestly, by fueling a kidnapped conspiracy theory and using your daughter for profit and exploiting her, I mean BB... You kind of asked for it. So the first person that we're going to be taking a look at goes by the name of Diane Patricia Evans, who is an ex-convict. Yes, ex-convict. You heard that right. I was doing a deep dive on the internet and found myself on Reddit where I found some really interesting stuff. Reddit and even some users on TikTok believe BB's real name to be Diane Patricia Evans. Of course, I'm not going to believe the words of other people, so I did some digging. Things are about to get complicated, so pay close attention. So you may have seen this woman who appears in a few of their videos who looks like she appeared straight out of the Adams family. So this woman turned out to be Beep Bop's grandma, evident by the fact that they posted this video with BB making the caption, my mom. So thanks to Reddit and doing my own research, I found out that this woman's name is Lisa Evans. I took a look at her feed and there's a really creepy video of her laying down and saying what appears to be, help me. Help me, help me. It doesn't seem like she's very active online, so I did some more digging and found someone named Darla Evans who has a pretty hefty friends list. Taking a look, this person is friends with a Brandy Evans and a David Evans who is an owner, manager, CEO at Swimming Pool Services. Now, why does this Wednesday gone wrong and these mutual friends matter? Well, you're about to find out. Beepop has a Spotify account that goes by the name of Beepop Bardo. So I googled that name and found Beepop Bardo LLC, which stands for Eliminated Liability Company. I looked at the other Google results and found another company called Beepop and BB LLC, both both of which are based in Georgia. So with that being said, Beepop isn't just a regular 10 year old girl who makes TikTok simply for fun with her mom. Her family built entire companies based off her. So taking a look at Beepop and BB LLC, there is a registered agent by the name of Donald Evans. Wait a second, Evans? Didn't we just see that name four times? Yes, we did. And this Donald Evans also owns a swimming pool company. So Lisa only has two friends, one of which is Donald Evans, the guy who runs the Beepop company and also happens to be BB's brother as seen in many YouTube videos and Instagram posts. I clicked on his most recent photo and found a comment by Darla that says good pick brother. If Darla, Donald, and BB are siblings, the question remains, what is BB's real name? So with that being said, I took a look at Donald's friends list, but I couldn't find a Diane Patricia Evans. I did some more digging and couldn't find much except for a post which contained a photo shared by a Diane Patricia. I zoomed in on the photo and can see what looks like a man on the left, a child in the middle, and a woman on the right. Now since I had to hyper zoom this photo, it is very blurry and it is hard to see, but taking a look, her white facial complexion, blonde hair, and the length of the hair, it definitely resembles BB. Now is this Diane person actually BB? Well as I've said a lot of people are claiming her to be. I tried to find this account and it appears that it has been deleted because none of these Evans people are friends with the Diane Patricia Evans. Now the question remains why does this even matter? Well I searched up the public court records for the state of Georgia and what do you know I found a Diane P. Evans of which is related to the people who we already know are related to BB such as Brandy, Donald, and Lisa. I took a look at this report and found a long list of charges such as speeding, fraud, battery, conduct and criminal trespassing. The post that I found on Reddit looked on another website and found domestic V with children and contributing to the delinquency of a minor. This is absolutely shocking. Now this is not to say that ex-convicts can turn their life around and be better people and become good parents. For four years I studied psychology and criminology and I'm a big believer that people can change for the better. But considering this kidnap conspiracy theory and BB's need to fuel this theory by exploiting her daughter for profit, it's important information to consider. Someone with such a large record who was clearly fueling people's fear for her own daughter's and kidnapping, it raises some serious red flags. 
So now that we've looked at this Diane Patricia Evans person, it's time to look at one more. This person that we're about to look at isn't as likely BB. It's more of a conspiracy theory that people believe to be her, but I'm gonna supply you guys with evidence and you're entitled to figure it out for yourself. So as I was doing some digging, I found myself onto Reddit once again and found a theory on who people think BB could have been in the past. Someone named Colette Dupree, who is a corn on the cop star. Obviously, I can't show you the full photos, but just know that for research purposes, I looked at these photos and burned my own eyes alive. Now, what I can show you are several pictures of her face. These pictures are from 1997 to 2000, so they are about 25 years old, meaning that if Diane Evans is this person, she would be about 24 years old in these photos, which does look right. Now, taking a look at these photos, and keep in mind they're from about 25 years ago, it does kind of look like BB. I also found a picture from a magazine that Colette was in, and her hair even parts the same as BB on the left side. I found a video of Colette on YouTube in an episode that she appeared in on the Jenny Jones show, and take a look. You would listen to what I say because I am a book of knowledge on playing. How many men have you played? Oh, I couldn't even tell you. Probably 500 for every hair on my head. After seeing this clip and watching some of BB's live streams, they even have the same temper tantrum. To be on live because they're not alive me. <laughs> like, girl, Princess Diana was like everywhere. The world loved her. We all watched her. Still something happened to her. So don't even think your little self right there. I'm getting threats. I'm getting threats. You ain't getting no threats. You sending yourself threats. That's what's going on. You think you're better than Princess Diana? You ain't no Princess Diana. <laughs> You ain't no princess, Diana. You ain't no princess, Diana. Now, based on the age, the photos, the videos, and the slight accent that I can hear, she definitely resembles BB. Now, it's hard to know for sure because this evidence is from 20 years ago, but I did use two different facial recognition websites. I put in pictures of Colette Dupree, and what do you know? BB came up and in one of the facial recognition images the LinkedIn profile of a woman by the name of Diane Evans appeared and look at her She looks a lot like BB now putting all this detective work together This is really big and no pun intended by that at all seriously <sighs> I need the men in black to come your ASAP and wipe my memory clean ladies and gentlemen if you will look right here but seriously though, if Diane and Colette really are the same person and are in fact BB, it changes everything. BB had a child and can no longer pursue her goal of having fame and money. So what's the next best alternative? Use her daughter. For years, her daughter was in child beauty pageants, which have received a lot of controversy, and then they transition on a TikTok. There's been some inappropriate videos of Bebop that make many people uncomfortable concerning her age. There's been live streams where BB purposely plants things in the background to fuel this conspiracy theory, such as handcuffs. People in live streams have told her to touch her nose, tilt her head, or say specific things to show that she is in danger or kidnapped. And it could all just be a coincidence, but she has done them many times. And what makes this thing so much weirder is that Beepop has an older brother who hasn't been seen in their videos for years, but in one of his last appearances, he apologized for having said that he was being forced to be in BB's videos. I lied, and I hurt them. I hurt their business, what they were trying to do. Something that they enjoyed. And it was something that I shouldn't have done. It was very stupid of me. And I'm very sorry to both of them and to everything that they were trying to accomplish. And what did you lie about? That I was forced. Say it. That I was forced. Were you ever forced? No. Were you ever threatened? No. Was there any consequences to not doing a video? No. Did you like it at the end, being famous? Yeah. At one point, Bebop and BB were supposed to be interviewed live by some company called 15 Minute News where they would be breaking their silence on this whole thing. In that interview, they were going to address the whole conspiracy theory and what do you know, you had to pay to watch it. But apparently now, after all this time, they are breaking their silence in a news interview, but it's crazy because they're making you pay. I'm sorry, but what? You have taunted people on the internet for years, but now you want people to pay to hear your story. Now, it did end up getting canceled, but regardless, the idea of having people pay to hear you speak about your own daughter's abuse 
and kidnapping, it's disgusting. The comment section in each and every one of their TikToks is spam with people asking if they are in danger or need of help. There have been thousands of videos piling up with millions of views asking if they're okay. BB could easily make a YouTube video or respond to the comments addressing this, saying that she's okay and this whole thing, people are just blowing into proportion, but nope, she continues to use her daughter to generate income. After witnessing the whole Marina Joy situation from years ago and how it turned out the internet was just reaching further than Reed Richards himself, it's sad. And the whole theory is just dumb. Why would a kidnapper let you make videos, go on live stream, go to countless stores, go to a carnival, and even go on vacation? Every single day because I love my occupation and it's disgusting that BB is viewing this thing because it takes attention away from those who are actually in danger and in need of real help it puts so much more doubt in people calling for real help because you're always wondering if they're faking it for attention to money like Bebop and BB now again, I just want to make it crystal clear that these two people we looked at today are not 100% BB. But I showed the evidence, people on social media believe what they want to believe, I believe what I want to believe, and you're entitled to believe what you want to believe. I asked my subscribers to see what they think about this whole thing, and even they think that Bebop and BB are faking this entire thing. And they're disgusted how BB is playing into this whole thing to generate more views and income. I heard about them for the first time about a year ago, and I think since then they've gained about 5 or 6 million followers. Because of this whole kidnap conspiracy theory, you have a lot more fame, a lot more money than you did one year prior, but doing it this way, it's, it's, it's disgusting. It really is. If you want to check my previous video on Bebop and BB and my one on Inkle Star and Mimi Cliffy, I'll leave it in the description box below. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this. Let's start a discussion. But anyways, that's officially going to do it for this video. So until next time, it's been Ivan Steph. Peace. Play the audio coming from there. What the f? What's that? What's oh, a fly?